Okay, moving on to activity number four of the uh, SAM1 practical paper. We will be now moving on to database software, okay, where we will be using uh, Microsoft Access uh, to complete this task, okay? So over here it says, uh, Jayesh has collected the information about the hotels and their customers. He has saved the information in the database, rest easy. So you should be having this database with you, rest easy. We do have it with us. And then it says, the customer table contains details of customers from a region in England open the rest easy database open the customer table okay so open the rest easy database and then go ahead and open the customer table now sometimes when you open your database you may get a message on top asking you to enable content you can go ahead and click on enable content okay so let's go ahead and I mean for me it hasn't appeared but it may appear for you when you download it from the internet uh, and let's open the customer table okay so this is what we see when we open up the uh, customer table uh, then the question paper goes on to say that this is the structure of the customer table okay so this is the structure so you can see if a title mr ms or dr is, is being used and pretty everything else is pretty much understandable okay then it says open a new document using word processing software set the orientation to landscape enter these details in the footer and save the word process document as task b1 so let's come to our folder right click new word document which is over here and let's give it the name task b1 let's open it and don't forget the orientation has to be set to landscape right now the pa pa page is portrait as you can see it's portrait so let's come to layout let's come to orientation and let's make it landscape okay and then don't forget the footer as well so we have task b1 your name your candidate number and their center number okay you can close the header and footer now then the question paper goes on to say Josh wants to add a new customer to the customer table add these details to the customer table okay so these are the details that need to be added uh, keep in mind the customer ID is an auto number which means the computer will insert it we do not have to insert it okay so title is Mr. Rakit Aganwa let's let okay so Mr. Rakit Aganwa uh, address one is 14 Hillhead Close. 14 Hillhead Close. Uh, it goes as Wickham. It's all in capital letters. As you can see, the others also in capital letters. So I'll, stick, I'll stick to the same format. Wickham. And his email address goes as agark at linktome.org.u. Agar. What? Agar. at link to me at link to me dot org dot eu telephone number goes as not double seven double zero nine double zero not double seven double zero nine oops sorry space nine double zero five eight four okay and then over here it goes as third august nineteen sixty seven but before you do enter just check how the remaining data is as you can see the remaining data has been entered as day month day year can you see this is month day year so you will also have to follow the same format when entering it so 3rd august 3rd august 1967 so the month comes first 8 slash 3 slash 1967 okay so with that we have completed entering the data then it says task b1b sort the customer table into alphabetical order by first name within alphabetical order of last name so multiple sorts involved over here so what we do is we come into advanced we click on advanced and we say we want to do an advanced filter or sort okay and just like in excel i told you the within part is always done first okay we do the within part first within alphabetical order of last name so get the last name first okay and it has to be alphabetical order which is ascending okay and the next part is first name so you can get first name over here f name and that is also going to be alphabetical order so let's click over here and say ascending order okay now you need to apply this sort you need to say go ahead apply the sort so to do that you can right click over here and you can say apply filter or sort okay so when you do that the sorting will take place okay now you can see the sorting has taken place you can also see the symbols are appearing showing that it has been sorted okay with regard to this customer filter if you want you can keep it open if you want you can close it okay if you close it no probs the sorting has already been done you have already applied it okay 
then the question paper goes on to say save the customer table paste a copy of the sorted customer table into document task b1 okay so let's go ahead and save this and then let's right click copy and let's come into microsoft word and let's paste this control v and the entire table has been pasted okay then the question paper goes on to say uh, make sure that all the data is displayed on one A4 and is easy to read. So ensure that all this data fits onto one A4 paper. Okay, if it does not fit, I mean it should fit for you on one A4 paper, but by any chance if it does not fit, you can click over here where the entire table would be selected and then you can just slightly increase or I mean you can slightly decrease the font to make it fit inside one A4 paper. Okay. Then the question paper goes on to say resave task uh, b1 do not print at this stage in document task b1 explain why the customer table stores the date of birth of customers rather than their ages okay so we are supposed to explain that so let me keep the cursor over here so obviously you know if you go to save the age every year you will have to update it but if you save the date of birth it can always be calculated the age of the customer can always be calculated so you can say if the age is stored the database will have to be manually updated every year okay but instead if the date of birth is stored is stored the age of the of the customer can always be calculated okay so by looking at the date of birth you can always calculate the age okay uh, then the question paper says resave task b1 print task b1 so let's save it now when it comes to the printing part they have not told it should fit one a4 paper as such but if you do want it to fit one a4 paper what you can do is uh, you can also come to layout and you can make the margins narrow okay so now there is uh, the margins have become narrow so now it's going to fit into one a4 paper okay the next thing the question paper says is open a new document using word processing software enter task b2 your name candidate number and all that in the footer save the document as task b2 so which means this document is now done we don't need it anymore so let me close it save and let me go into my folder and let me open a new one new uh, word document and it's going to be called task b2 let's open this up and let's immediately head for the footer and task b2 your name your candidate number and your center number uh, then the question paper goes on to say Josh wants a list of customers who have doctor as a title he wants all fields displayed create a query on the customer table to find this information okay so how we do it is we come to our database we come to create and for query there is either a wizard or a design that you can use okay you can use a wizard or you can use a design for me I prefer design design is much more straightforward okay wizard you have to go step by step stating what you want okay so I'm gonna go ahead with query design okay I don't need the property sheet let me close it on the right hand side I have the tables that are available for me to use if these tables are not available for you you can always come to query design and you can say show the table names okay just click on this okay or you can even click on this add tables okay when you click on it the tables will appear on the right hand side okay so what is the table I need to refer to the question paper has very clearly told me create a query on the customer table so I need to refer to the customer table so let me double click and take the customer table okay what are the fields that I need to display question paper has told me he wants all fields displayed so let me go one by one and take each of them double click double click double click double click double click okay okay so I have got all the fields and you can see all of them are ticked which means they are all going to be visible then the criteria is what they have to be the title has to be DR the title has to be doctor so what I do is I come to title okay I come to title and below title you can see we have the criteria row so over here I'm gonna click and say I want only the DR so inside double quotes I'm gonna say DR and close the double quotes because I only want those with the title of DR okay anything else to be done any other criteria to be done no so I can go ahead and display the results so what I can do is I can come to query design and I can click on run so when I click on run so these are the 
customers who have doctor as their title okay there are seven records okay and how am i supposed to save it i'm supposed to save it as b2a so let me click on save and save it as b2a and say okay now as soon as i save it you can see on the left hand side the query has appeared okay if it does not appear for you on the left hand side just click over here and say show all access objects okay now say for example you mistakenly saved it under the wrong name and you want to change that name what you need to do is you need to first close the query so from over here close the query then you can come over here you can right click and you can say rename okay okay uh, let's go back to our question paper it says paste a copy of the results of your query into document task b2 so we are supposed to paste a copy right click copy come to microsoft word control v so these are the results of the query okay then the question paper goes on to say do not uh, resave task b2 do not print at this stage so let's resave it uh, then it goes on to say task b2b the place table stores details of the hotels in the group open the place table okay let's go ahead and open it place table then it goes on to say Jayesh wants a list of hotels that are less than grade 5 and have 100 or more rooms okay so it's very important that if you have a physical paper you underline these criteria criteria number one is it should be less than grade 5 and it should also have 100 or more rooms so the list should only show the fields location hotel name rooms grade manager and phone create a query on the place table okay so what we do is we come again to create we come to query design okay this time the table that we will be referring to is the place table okay because the question paper very specifically told us uh, create a query based on the place table okay uh, what are the fields location hotel name rooms location hotel name rooms uh, grade manager and phone grade manager and phone okay so I have taken the fields that they told me to display as you can see these boxes are ticked which means that they would be visible in the query then the question paper goes on to say my first criteria is less than grade 5 the grade should be less than 5 so over here in my criteria I'm gonna type less than as you can see this is the less than symbol less than 5 okay I want the grades to be less than 5 and I want the rooms to be greater than or equal to 100 isn't it 100 or more rooms okay so I'm gonna type over here greater than or equal to 100 okay so I want greater than or equal to 100 rooms okay so there are two criteria one is the grade should be less than 5 and then the hotel should have either 100 or more rooms so then it goes on to say create a query on the place table so let's run the query now let's come to the query design and let's click on run so these are the results for my criteria how do I save this I'm supposed to save it as b2b and then I have to copy the results of it into task b2 so let's click on save and let's save this as b2b and click on ok and let's copy the results copy let's come to task b2 and let's paste it okay uh, then the question paper goes on to say resave task b2 print task b2 so you can resave it you can press ctrl p to go into print preview and you can go ahead make sure everything is visible and you can go ahead and click on print okay the next thing the question paper tells you is uh, task b3 okay so over here uh, it says open a new document using word processing software enter task b3 your name candidate number and center number in the footer and save the document as task b3 so which means task b2 we are done with so we can close it and uh, let's come to our folder right click new word document task b3 let's open that up let's go into the footer task b3 your name your candidate number and your center number okay then the question paper goes on to say 
uh, the database has linked tables okay the tables have been connected to each other okay the customer table is linked to the state table the place table is linked to the state table okay so basically the customer and place table are both linked to the state table display the relationship between the tables make sure all the fields are displayed take a screenshot of the relationships okay so how do we do that we come to database tools okay and here when you click on relationships it will show you how are the tables connected to each other okay so let's click it over click and you can see they show the three tables and you can see the customer is customer table is connected to the state table and the place table is connected to the state table okay so let's make this a little bigger so it will be properly visible okay uh, you can see it's a one to many relationship one to many which means one customer can have many stays one place can have many stays okay uh, then let's go on it says take a screenshot and you're supposed to paste a screenshot into document task b3 so i'm going to use my snipping tool new take a screenshot from here to here come to task b3 control v okay then the question paper goes on to ask uh, in the in the document task b3 identify the primary key in one of the relationships okay so in one of the relationships you have to identify the primary key okay so this is the first question let's end enter the first question let's zoom in so you wherever you see the golden key symbol that is a primary key field so either you can talk about customer id you can talk about stay id or you can mention the hotel code any one of them is a primary key field okay so i'll just go with the first one and i'll say customer id in the customer table okay so mention customer id in the customer table okay the next question says in the document task b3 explain why a one to many relationship is used between the place and stay table so the place and stay table is having a one to many relationship the reason it has a one to many relationship is because one place okay one place or you can say one hotel can have multiple stays okay multiple bookings you can say okay so you can put over here because one place can have multiple stays connected to it okay so one hotel or one place can have multiple bookings made to it okay which is why it has a one to many relationship okay the next question goes on to say in the document task b3 explain why it is preferable to split the information into separate tables rather than storing all the information in one table okay so they're asking why have we s why is it better to separate the data into three different tables why not have them all into one table now if you just think about it if you go to put all this information into one table imagine the customer table is going to have all these fields all these fields as well as all these fields now what's going to be what's going to happen you're going to have a huge amount of fields okay and there's going to be many records where fields are going to be empty because for example for customer details all these fields will be utilized but these fields are not going to be utilized these fields are not going to be utilized okay so the first thing you can talk about is you can say if you put all the data into one table you're going to have a huge number of fields and not all the records will be utilizing all the fields okay that can be the first problem if all the data were placed in one table there would be a huge number of fields in that table and uh, and uh, each record would not utilize all the fields okay this is the first problem okay so for example when you are noting down customer record customer records will fit into these fields only but it will not fit into stay and place right because it has nothing to do with the stay and place isn't it so then the stay fields and the place fields are going to be blank it's not good to have a database with blank fields okay you have to fill them up as much as you can okay so first problem is this second problem is now look over here in this table when you're creating a stay when you're creating a stay and when you put a customer id that customer id is checked against the customer table if that customer id is not there you cannot create it in the state table you got it so inaccurate values 
duplicate values okay cannot be created in the state table because when you do it it'll immediately say no this that value does not exist in the customer table or say for example you are trying to create uh, a uh, you're trying to create a record with the place table so in this you can see the place table and the state table are connected using hotel code so in the state table if you type a hotel code which does not exist in the place table immediately error message will come up this uh, this code or this particular I pati particular ID does not exist in the place table okay so when you have the table separated when you have the information separated into three tables and you have them connected this reduces the chances of making mistakes reduces the chances of inaccurate data being entered okay we can also say further having the data separated into three tables and having them connected reduces the chances of errors or you can say mistakes or inaccuracies being entered into the table okay so this is another uh, important thing about having tables connected to each other it reduces the chances of inaccurate data being entered okay okay so I hope you have understood what I just said okay uh, so we have completed up to here we have to resave task b3 and then we have to print task b3 as well so we can press ctrl p and you can go ahead and print it okay once you're done with that uh, next we have one last part where we are supposed to create a query and a report we will do this in our next video okay